antenna and wave propagation what is an antenna antenna is a transducer that converts radio frequency electrical current to the electromagnetic waves that are radiated into the space as we are saying antenna as a an transducer means it is converting electrical signal present at the input side into the radi electromagnetic waves when antenna is used as a an transmitter and at the receiver end when antenna is used as a an receiving antenna the same radio waves are being received by the same antenna and those radio signal are being converted into the electrical signal that's why antenna works as a an transducer that's why in two way communication the same antenna can be used for transmission as well as for the reception the fundamental antenna concepts first reciprocity radiation patterns gain and the polarization reciprocity the various properties of an antenna apply equally regardless of whether it is being used for the transmitting and receiving antenna the transmission and reception efficiency the same efficiency in general can be applicable when antenna is used as a an transmitter antenna and it is also applicable when the antenna is used as a an receiving antenna how efficiently an antenna transmits useful input signal that is transmission efficiency and the reception efficiency is nothing but how efficiently an antenna receives the present received electromagnetic signal and converts into the useful output signal that is nothing but its reception efficiency gain as antenna is a passive device its gain cannot be calculated like we calculate for the active device that is output upon input but basically we calculate gain by comparing it with some standard reference and that standard reference is an isotropic antenna now why the isotropic antenna the isotropic antenna is an hypothetical antenna which is said to transmit uniformly in all direction that's why whenever we are trying to calculate the gain of an antenna we always compare it with the standard reference and that is nothing but your isotropic antenna the input now next the radiation patterns the radiation patterns are nothing but graphical representation of radiation properties of an antenna when the antenna radiates how the antenna radiates the signal its graphical representation is nothing but its radiation pattern when antenna is used at the reception end the what sort of signal it has received representation of that is nothing but the reception pattern as shown in the waveforms see beam width or half power beam width measure of directivity of antenna now this is one more concept regard in concept in con in discussion with the antenna okay now if we can see these are the beam widths related with the antenna effect as we have already discussed the antenna gain power input in a particular direction compared to the compared to that produced in any direction by an isotropic antenna the effective area related to the physical size and shape of the antenna effective area is nothing but the area required effective area is nothing but the area required for transmission or area available for transmission or reception of a signal now relation between the antenna gain and the effective area g stand for antenna gain a stands for effective area f stands for carrier frequency c speed of light lambda is carrier wavelength the antenna with a gain of 3 db improves over the isotropic antenna in that direction by 3 db or factor of 2 defined as the orientation of electric field e plane of an electromagnetic field types of polarization what is an polarization polarization is the orientation of electric or electric or magnetic field of an electromagnetic field the basic types of polarization are linear and circular the linear is again divided into horizontal and vertical vertically polarized antenna electric field is perpendicular to the earth surface in case of vertically polarized antenna the electric field is perpendicular to the earth surface for example broadcast tower of am radio horizontally polarized antenna 
electric field is parallel to the earth's surface in case of horizontally polarized antenna the electric field is parallel to the earth's surface example television transmission circularly polarized antenna the wave radiates energy in both the horizontal and vertical plates and all planes in between these are the graphical representation of the polarization concept no types of antenna isotropic antenna it's an idealized antenna as we already discussed it's an antenna it's an hypothetical antenna which radiates uniformly in all directions dipole dipole are basically called as half wave dipole and there are <coughs> half wave dipole or lambda by 2 dipole these are there are again quarter wave vertical antennas the parabolic reflector antenna is one is one of the also type of an antenna the dipole antenna as we can see the radiation plot of an antenna the dipole antenna in the azimuth plane the dipole antenna lambda by 2 its gain is typically 2 db bandwidth is 10% frequency limit is upper limit is about 10, 8 gigahertz it don't have a lower frequency limit the polarization basically it follows the linear linear polarization that is vertical i shown in the above figure the half power bandwidth typically is 80 into 360 the pattern and loading change significantly with frequency used as gain reference to the frequency less than 2 gigahertz the propagation modes the ground wave propagation sky wave propagation line of sight propagation the ground wave propagation the ground wave propagation follows the contour of the earth can propagate considerable distance frequencies up to 2 megahertz